Thodor Madhubusi Krishna born the 22nd of January 1976 is a Carnatic music vocalist, writer and author, and socio-political activist. As a vocalist, he has courted controversy by making a large number of innovations in both the style and substance of his concerts. As an activist, he has championed a number of causes connected to the environment, the caste system, communalism, religious reform, reform of social practices and so on. On November 18, 2018 he performed in New Delhi invited by Arvind Kejriwal's AAP government which gathered audience in thousands. <laughs> <laughs> Background and personal life Krishna was born Chennai on the 22nd of January 1976 into a Tamil Iyengar family, the son of T. M. Rangachari and his wife Prema Rangachari. His parents founded and ran a school named Vidya Vanam for tribal and underprivileged students in Anakati, Tamil Nadu, which his mother now runs after his father's death. Krishna is the grand nephew of Congress politician and freedom fighter T.T. Krishna Machari, former Indian finance minister and industrialist, who was also one of the founding members of the Madras Music Academy, Krishna received his BA degree in economics from Vivekananda College, University of Madras. He is married to Sangeetha Sivakumar, a reputed Carnatic musician. He lives with his wife and two daughters in Chennai, while his mother Prema Rangachari runs her school, Vidya Vanam, in Anakati. Career Both of Krishna's parents had deep interest in the arts, especially Carnatic music. His mother had received music lessons in her childhood in the typical South Indian style, and had even taken a degree in Carnatic music. Krishna's parents ensured that he received exposure to the classical arts from a young age. They arranged for him to receive music lessons from a very young age. Krishna began his musical training under Bhagavadula Sitharama Sharma. He later underwent special Ragam Thanam Pallavi grooming under Chingalput Ranganathan. He also trained with the doyan Semangudi Srinivasa Iyer for five years from 1997 to 2002. Krishna's performing career began at the age of 12 with his debut concert at the Spirit of Youth series organized by the Music Academy, Chennai, India. He has since performed widely at various festivals and venues across the world, including the Madras Music Academy, National Center for the Performing Arts India, John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts, Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts, Esplanade, Theatres on the Bay, to name a few. Krishna speaks and writes about a wide range of issues, not confined to the cultural sphere. His interests span the breadth of left-wing activism, be it the environment, the caste system, social reform, religious reform, combating communalism, innovation in classical music and so on. He has started and is involved in many organizations whose work is spread across the spectrum of music and culture. Krishna is part of the team of activists that started the Urur Alkot Kuppam Festival and the Svanubhava Initiative, and has been part of inspiring collaborations, such as the Chennai Porambok Padal with environmentalist Nityanand Jayaraman, performances with the Jogapas transgender musicians, and bringing on to the concert stage the poetry of Purumal Murugan. He also speaks in various conferences and academic institutions, including Harvard University, Chennai Mathematical Institute, the Indian Institutes of Technology, and the Indian Institute. Of management. Among his awards are the prestigious Ramon Magsaysay Award 2016 in recognition of his forceful commitment as artist and advocate to arts power to heal India's deep social divisions, the Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration 2017 for his services in promoting and preserving national integration in the country, and the Professor V. Aravindakshan Memorial Award 2017 for connecting Carnatic music with the common man. Topic. Books Reshaping Art 2018. In his most recent book, T.M. Krishna raises questions about how art is made, performed and disseminated, and addressing such issues as caste, class and gender within society while exploring the contours of democracy, culture and learning. The book was published by Aleph Book Company. A Southern Music, The Carnatic Story 2013. Published in 2013 by Harper Collins, the book was released by Nobel laureate Amartya Sen and chairman of Kalakshetra, Gopal Krishna Gandhi. 
It discusses the philosophy, aesthetics, sociology and history of Carnatic music. The book was awarded the 2014 Tata Literature Award for Best First Book in the Nonfiction category. Voices Within 2007. Three Carnatic singers, namely Bombay Jayashri, T.M. Krishna and Maitali Chandrasekhar, got together to publish the first ever coffee table book on Carnatic music in January 2007. The book is a labor of love and pays tributes to seven Carnatic music maestros. The first copy of the book was received by the former President of India, Abdul Kalam at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. This book was later translated in Tamil and published by Ananda Vikatan Publications in the year 2011. Ashish Nandi, A Life in Descent 2018. Krishna has contributed one chapter to this book, which contains a number of essays by various people, all written in praise of the Christian sociologist Ashish Nandi. The book is a reflection on Ashish Nandi's life work as a thinker. Articles and lectures Krishna also frequently writes on topics ranging from music including its practice, musicians, history and future to society, culture, politics and religion. His articles have been published across most leading Indian newspapers and magazines such as the Indian Express, the Hindu, the Hindustan Times, Outlook, India Today, and Open, as well as several online portals such as Scroll, The Wire, Dailyo, and First Post. Krishna has also delivered lectures at a variety of institutions, including leading universities across the world. Noteworthy among these lectures are Neelan Tirachelvam Memorial Lecture 2018, A. K. Ramanujan Lecture 2018, Professor Ram Bapat Memorial Lecture 2017, Dr. Ashok Da Renata Memorial Lecture 2016, Kumar Gandharva Memorial Lecture 2014, Krishna's long-form essay, M.S. Understood, for the caravan was featured in the Caravan Book of Profiles, as one of their 12 definitive profiles, and has been translated into Tamil and published as a book by Kalachuvadu Publications. Initiatives and collaborations Chennai Porambok Padalth Chennai Porambok Padal music video was released on 14 January 2017 on YouTube. An initiative by T. M. Krishna and environmental activist Nityanand Jayaraman, the Tamil song was written by Kabir Vasuki and composed by R. K. Sriramkumar, and the video was directed by Rathindran Prasad. The video featured Krishna performing in and around the Enor Creek and highlighted the environmental damage done to the creek by the power plant in that region. The music video trended on YouTube India for a week after its release becoming the first Carnatic song to trend on YouTube. The song's title contained the word, Porambok, which formerly meant land of the commons but has become a popular swear word. The music video also garnered attention for combining Tamil slang dialect with Carnatic music. The song is a raga malika and is based on the ragas Ananda Bhairavi, Bhagata, Hamir Kalyani, Devagandari, Salaga Bhairavi and Sindhu Bhairavi. Kodakanal still won't Krishna collaborated with rap and Gana Kuthu artists in this multi-genre music video in protest of multinational Unilever's double standards and its refusal to apply the globally accepted environmental standards in India. Directed by filmmaker Rathindra Prasad, this was a second video after the original Kodakanal Won't video which protested Unilever's 2001 dumping of toxic mercury in the South Indian hill town of Kodakanal, which is said to have poisoned its workers and the forest. Uruur Alkot Kuppam Vija Krishna was part of the team that started this festival with an aim to heal art, and help art heal by opening art and artists to new audiences and different environments. The festival made its debut in January 2015 at Urur Alkot Kuppam in Chennai. In 2016, it was designed also as a celebration to help relieve some of the trauma suffered by people hurt by the 2015 floods, and as a thanksgiving to the many who assisted with relief, rescue and rehabilitation efforts. Today, the Urur Alkot Kuppam Vija is now Chennai Kalai Thiruvija, a new avatar that will begin exploring new locations around the city in collaboration with local communities.